He's not even a cowboy. Why is he wearing a cowboy hat? <laughs> right? I don't. I mean, sometimes I come into work and these guys are wearing cowboy hats, and I'm like, dude, what? Are we? We're not even a cowboy. But listen, I truly believe. Listen to me. Listen to me. That they that they do things to alter their identity. Ed Milet said his biggest skill that he ever had that took him from from number one. He just, okay, Oracle, the the seventh biggest business in the world. Oracle. Ed Milet just bought their airplane. Now I'm gonna explain this. That means he's got some. I mean, what's a hundred million dollar airplane? He's got some serious dough. The guy was living out of his car. 15 years ago what's your story gonna be and he said the number one thing that allowed him to get what it is that he wanted was the ability to alter his identity he said it was his number one skill he goes look man I wanted to be a great speaker I wanted to learn how to tell stories I wanted to do all these things okay but my ability to alter my identity and get rid of the old life that I had living in my car it, it I work on it every day because then when I got where I did have a couple million in the bank right and I wasn't living in my car I had to continue to alter my identity up again to go to the next level okay some of you guys have gotten to a certain an identity point and you need to change it sometimes I'll walk in and I'll see my coaches and they're wearing these glasses okay and I don't even they don't even wear glasses so I don't understand why they're wearing them but what happens is they say well today I woke up and I didn't feel like doing like what I normally do so I wanted to shift my perspective so I put some glasses on see I didn't need to tell them to put glasses on I didn't need to tell them to get their shit together they knew they need to take care of themselves and they put those glasses on by themselves to alter their perspective because they woke up and they didn't feel like doing what they knew they should have done that day to me the ability to fix your own life the man or woman who can self-correct without someone else telling them to self-correct is forever wealthy your deal is at this point right now when that word track came out guess what you're like man I like that cool man can I ask a question can anyone else get up here and do that same word track and do it the same way and beat him can you now here's the deal somebody should be able to you know why I've had this word track out for a year now isn't it crazy how I could have it out for a year and most of you guys have probably heard me say this before but you can't say it you know what that means that means you're listening to me you're thinking about some of the things that you want to hear that I tell you but you're not listening to everything that I'm saying I am telling you that you speak for a living when someone says no it is your job to get them to say yes if you won't take the time that it takes to memorize a word track don't complain about not making enough money the reason why you're you're not where you're at and the reason why you're not making the kind of money that you want to make is because you haven't created enough value in yourself when you look in the mirror and you stop lying to yourself you stop lying and you say I'm lazy I spend 20 minutes in the morning looking through Instagram on other people's shitty pages right looking at their life instead of taking 20 minutes memorizing this word track and writing it down it's the truth I've got a problem and my problem is I don't want it bad enough you wake up in the morning you're a freight train it's your life you're on a one-way track you wake up you know the holes you have in your game start with one objection boom I'm gonna memorize this take it listen to it write it down listen to it write it down at the end of the week you got it once you memorize it you know it for the rest of your life what what, what is your address okay. what's your address address I want your date of birth look at that social what's your social fullest credit <laughs> hey listen Here's my deal. One, two, three, four. You may ask why I asked him those yeah. questions, right? I'm gonna ask you, why did I ask him those questions? Because he knew it. Do you, do you guys see that shit? I was like, what's your address? He's like, Arr. okay. By the way, can I ask you a question? When you first moved there, did you know your address? Why did you memorize it? How much money did that make you? Okay, how much money would this make you? Do you guys see what I'm saying? See, listen to me. What I'm telling you guys is this. You've been working for a lot of managers who are great people, but they don't tell you to go train. Let me explain this. They got to where they got by hard work, okay? They were the hardest worker in their dealerships, and that's how they got into management. They never had to train, but they also never broke any record, and they won't be remembered. I'm going to explain this, okay? You got a name. That name is in that Master Closer Seminar book. I want the whole world to know who you are. It is going to be fucking hard it is gonna be so hard I swear and I take joy I take joy being in a place that I know that no one else wants to be in you take joy in it if you're in a place that no one else wants to be in and you can have joy in that place you are dangerous you want to be average you already know what it looks like you've been doing it by the way when it bothers you it's kind of like when you're in church and the preacher says something you're like oh shit. you know what I mean right it's one of those deals fix it